anything we do in our sustainability office, anything anyone does in the city of Cleveland is about the economic development. And we're just pumped about solar and jobs, right? 31,000 alternative energy jobs in 2012 in Ohio. About a quarter of those are in Northeast Ohio. We have one of the largest supply chains in the country for solar in Ohio, as well as wind. It's really about how do we turn that image of Cleveland, right, into this thriving green city on a blue lake. And we really, really believe that solar renewables is a key piece of that. A lot of cities are creating climate action plans, especially most bigger cities are doing this. It's just absolutely crucial to meet our goals. So part of that is just cleaning the grid. What can government do to begin to scale this stuff up? One thing you'll see some cities doing is creating these like solarized communities. So you go to this website, type in your address, and within five seconds you can see what the system would look like on your roof, and then what is the general payback on that system. Then you can work with Geostellar, who's running this program, and they can sort of help you figure out in the next level of detail what it would look like. And you can see other companies are doing the same approach. So Cisco, Johnson & Johnson, 3M are doing the same program with their employees. So group purchasing is what this is all about. It's basically an instant online assessment I talked about. There's phone support and solar guides, there's top rank panels and local installers, and also financing options. At the end of the day, it's about people. And if what we're doing isn't helping people's lives, improving their quality of life, then what are we doing? And we firmly believe that solar improves people's quality of life. Other reasons we care about this, air quality. But we really see renewables being a heavy contributor to improving our air quality. We heard earlier we're one of the worst in the country. Our greenhouse gas emissions today, we emit about 13 million metric tons a year as a city. That's about the equivalent of every Clevelander driving to Cincinnati and back every day. By 2030, we want to get to 40% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Um, and then by 2050, 80% reductions. So about 80% of those reductions are going to come from energy.